This video is on how to install SQL Server, SQL Server 2016. Um, I know there are lots of other videos out there on how to install SQL Server, so I wasn't going to do this, but uh, I'm leading up to another video showing uh, how to use Node-RED to save MQTT data to SQL Server. So I figured I'd go ahead and walk, breeze through this real quick and uh, help the first timer set it up. So SQL Server is free. There's, there are several different versions. Uh, there's Express and then Developer, which is pretty fully featured, um, but still pretty free. You just have to sign up and download it. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and start the uh, launcher. After the files all download, this is the SQL Server Installation Center. It looks a little daunting, but we're hardly going to use any of this stuff. So click on installation. Um, the, you should go ahead and install the SQL Server management tools. This is actually just a link so you can install the SQL Server Management Studio. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new standalone installation. We're going to go through this wizard here. This all looks okay. Just hit next. We're going to do a free license. Sure. Okay, so we need the database engine. And then I'm going to select a custom location. Usually you don't want SQL Server on your C drive, especially if it's going to get big. For development, who cares? Okay, so since there's only one going to be one instance of SQL Server on this machine, we're going to do the default instance. It makes it a little more straightforward. You can have multiple instances of the SQL Server engine on a single machine. And then if you have special requirements about um, what accounts the services run as, you can change that. Okay, so you're definitely going to want to set up a mixed mode for authentication. That way you can just do uh, simple usernames and passwords. Um, you're going to definitely want to add yourself as an administrator. Otherwise, once it's installed, you might have some trouble configuring it. And also for the uh, system administrator account, I can put in a custom password here. So. And we're ready to install. Let's get this thing going. The installation might take a little while. And a few minutes later it's done. So I'm going to close this out. <coughs> so let's go ahead and look for the SQL Server Configuration Manager. We'll make sure everything's set up properly here. In the SQL Server Network Configuration, you need to enable named pipes and TCP IP. Otherwise, you will not have a good time trying to make a connection from other applications. So it said we had to restart it. Let's go ahead and restart the SQL Server. And we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get the SQL Server Management Studio. So 
So you can type in the IP address or the machine name. Since it's on the same machine, I'm just going to do localhost. And Windows authentication because I added myself in a previous step. Okay, so under databases, we're going to add a new database. It's really straightforward. Just click on new database. All right, give it a name and hit OK. So that was fairly painless. We've got our dev database. There are no tables yet. But first, let's go ahead and set up security. I'm going to make a login for uh, Node-RED. In the next video, we're going to connect to SQL Server and start putting some data in here. So let's give this user a name. We're going to use SQL Server authentication. So, and then give it a password. Go ahead and click OK. And then we can go ahead and map the roles first. Um, this user might as well be a little bit limited. I'm not going to give him everything. <clears throat> but I'm going to go into the dev database and say, I can at least uh, read and write data to this database. That's all, all I really need. So now if we go to the dev database, look under security you'll see that that user is uh, associated here. So let's go ahead and make a table real quick. I'm going to do a new table. So just think of this as uh, it's going to look just like an Excel spreadsheet. You know, you've got uh, columns and rows. So the first column we'll do um, topic Then we'll do the payload. Then we want a, a date and time. But the thing about SQL Server, you don't really want to use keywords. So date is a keyword and time is a keyword. So I'm going to do something that isn't a keyword in SQL Server. And I want this data type to be date time. And then we can just hit uh, save table. Let's call it MQTT data. So if we click on tables and I'm going to hit F5 to refresh, or I can right click and do refresh. There's our table. Let's go ahead and select top 1,000. There's our empty table with no data. I have one change to make to the options. In the designers uh, section, tables and database designers, you need to uncheck this, prevent saving changes that require table creation. That would block the next script we're gonna run. So this is completely optional, but what this command will do is it's going to add an ID to our table. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this MQTT data. And to run a command, you just hit execute. Now if we look at our table again, let's just select everything. I've created this ID uh, column. And I'll show you what that's for here in a second. So let's go ahead and just uh, insert a row for testing uh, into our table. So we're going to do into MQTT data. We're just going to do a quick test here. So we'll do topic and payload. 
and then the values let's go ahead and do we can hit execute and then go ahead and I don't need this one lo and behold there is a row of data so what this previous command did this command right here what it did was it added this ID column and it automatically increments every time a row is inserted so you don't have to put anything in the ID but it's really handy later um, I'll show we'll use it to um, select data back out of this table so we could just do this a couple times So we got a little bit of data in our table. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to set up Node-RED and start storing uh, MQTT topics and payloads into the database. Thanks.